Hi guys, I'm here and welcome to Digital Archive episode 4. We're going to do a voiceover today. This is a special day. I flew from Detroit, Michigan to New York City for a single day. And here's the start of my morning where my plane was leaving at 6.50 in the morning. So we got there around 5.30. I boarded the plane with literally nothing besides my wallet, phone, and an empty bag. So I figured it couldn't take too long to get to TSA and it didn't, thankfully. And here's just some footage of the plane ride. I was originally stuck between two people in the middle seat. Um, it was two guys manspreading and coughing with no mask on, but they moved me to my own row, which was so, I was so thankful for that. Um, and then of course the beautiful morning sky. The landing of this plane was literally so rough, but we made it to the city. So we're just on the bus right now, leaving LaGuardia, getting to the city for breakfast. I'll go ahead and insert the name of this place. I was here last time I was in New York and I loved it. We decided to make our way to our first stop for manga, which was Book Off. So we're just gonna get on the train and head on over to Book Off and I could spend hours inside of Book Off. All right, and now that we're at Book Off, we of course went downstairs to the manga section. I was surprised to see that they had an entire bleach box set down there. Also this volume of The Hellbound, it was volume two, so I ended up putting it back, but it was only $10. And this made me really upset. These were actually ex-library copies that someone I took the stickers off of, um, but they were still selling it for only a dollar under retail, which was annoying. Um, Yo Mushi Petal, I would love to collect this series because I fell in love with the anime with my hyperfixation for like a few months, but volume 3 is unfortunately out of print and going for way too much. Alright, and I actually didn't end up getting anything from Book Off or any manga, I got one tiny figure, so we made our way over to Kina Kuniya, which is just a few streets down, and I had to check out the Smitty section, but to my disappointment, they didn't have any blind boxes and they only had the little zipper guys. We just went ahead and got on the elevator to go upstairs to check out the manga section. I for some reason have so many clips of me getting on this elevator because I go to Kenya Kenya when I'm in New York literally every single day that I'm in New York and I don't know why I was thinking that they're going to restock with more stuff but I just love getting on this elevator and seeing the giant Vagabond Miro. And I just checked out like the new release section that they had and I didn't even know that they did a Tokyo Revengers in color version. Of course this isn't only in Japanese but that'd be cool to see in English. I did pick up the animation guidebook for Chainsaw Man and I wanted to take a look over at their GL section because I want to read more GL. I don't have too many in my collection so if you have any suggestions go ahead and comment below. I've been hearing a lot about Runaway With Me Girl so I think that might be my next pick up. And I actually didn't pick this up either but I was surprised to see this in stores. So I've never seen it in any other bookstore. Uh, this is by Inyo Asano. And then this was just me confused because I literally didn't even know that they had like another um, side series for your name. This is a novel though, it's not the manga, but I did find the manga version of that afterwards. And I'm definitely going to have to pick that up since I read your name last month and I loved the movie. So I'm hoping this will give me a little bit more satisfaction than the original manga storyline. I was also looking at Yotsuba because I wanted to see if they had the volume I was missing. They didn't, unfortunately. I made my way over to the Japanese manga section and I so badly want Hikari Be My Light to be licensed in English. I want to read it physically, so I haven't read it uh, digitally yet. And then these two volumes I read on Futakaya Library, which is just a manga subscription website. I'll go ahead and link the two stories below, but I love this author and their art is just so pretty. After looking at the Japanese manga, I just made my way over to the art books uh, section. That Shikamori is not just a cutie one caught my eye, so you'll see me turn around and just look at it. Um, I didn't end up picking it up to even look at it, but I just wanted to take a look through this section. It's where I found the Chainsaw Man animation guide that I was looking for, because last time when I came in January I was looking for it and they didn't have any copies, and my order from CG Japan got cancelled and I was like so distraught about not getting it. The Jujutsu Kaisen one caught my eye. I don't exactly know which one it is, but I didn't pick, end up picking it up. And these Neon Genesis Evangelion lookup figures, I had no idea that they made these and I wanted them so bad, but not for $44 a piece. So we just went ahead and made our way downstairs and the Al Oshi poster caught my eye. Love that series, highly recommend the anime. We ended up in a random bookstore where I got such a good steal on these. I'll talk a little bit more about it in my March manga haul, but I'm so glad to get these. And we were in the area, so we made our way over to Toy Tokyo, and I just got a Smithy blind box because I didn't get one at Kino Kaneo, unfortunately. Uh, they also had a downstairs area, which had a lot more anime figures, but it's mostly like Funkos and Key Poskets, so we didn't get anything from there besides our Smitskis. And we took a quick break at this place. I'll go ahead and leave the name, but look at this onigiri sandwich. Amazing. This Glossier showroom was actually so cool as well. This showroom style was so cool. Um, 
they also had another mirror like a selfie mirror that i was trying to take a video in but there was this guy who was following me and he was getting so close and he was just like in all of my <laughs> pictures you can see him right there and after we left the glossier uh showroom we made our way over to miniso because it was nearby um it was so cute in here they mostly sold plushies i thought it was more of like a daiso type b kind of store you know where they had like little uh like home 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 stuff like i don't know like kitchenware like little gifts stationery they didn't have much in the store besides plushies um they had these weird we bear bear stuff and i really want i'm so obsessed with we bear bears and i was in high school still kind of am but yeah they were mostly just plushies here so i didn't get anything they had some snacks too but nothing that really piqued my interest too much but we were just kind of killing time in here till we had to leave for the airport and we made one last final food stop before going to the airport, which of course we found out once we sat down that our flight home was delayed. <laughs> but this round was so good, I'll leave the name of this place down as well. And since our flight was delayed, we made one last stop at Kino Kinia. I wanted to pick up this Funko Pop of Luffy. And now we're finally on the truck back to the airport. Um, our phones were dead and we needed to charge them, so here's me still sacrificing my battery to film some more clips. We made it back to the airport safely. TSA literally only had one person in front of us, so we had three hours to kill before our delayed flight. It was delayed until 10.40. We got back to Detroit at like 12.30ish in the morning. My last goodbye before getting back on the plane. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!